with every breath we take. We breathe in compassion. Each and every one of us are filled with compassion. But too many of us limit ourselves to not sharing it. It's like when you're told as a man-child in certain cultures. You're a man, you're not supposed to cry. So grandfather said, then why do we have tear ducts? All of us. It's not only for one group, but we all have tear ducts. We see compassion in its full glory each and every day. And we walk through it, we walk by it, and we're always in it. But not enough of us reveal that which is in us, which is around us, and what we are in. Look at a bright, sunny day. Compassion. The sun does not limit its warmth to the growth of a certain flower or a certain tree or a certain animal or a certain human being. It doesn't limit limit itself to any particular group of living things, but to all things, as compassion is to all things. Yet we limit our compassion. We don't share it. To be compassionate is to show weakness. Be strong. Don't cry. Be strong. How strong is it to feel that sharing something that will bring peace, respect, honor, love to a fellow human being? Why do people refuse to show that which is free? How many of us can block out the sun so those people over there won't get any sun? None of us can do that. So why do we try to shut out one of the most valuable human emotions that can bring people together. After all, how can that make us less than what we are? A beautifully baked pie with its rich aroma and its nourishing apples when cut and a piece is taken out of it? Does that piece become less than what it was originally a part of? It's still with the same ingredients that the whole pie was. We are a part of nature, not apart from it. It's natural to feel pain. It's natural to feel sorrow. It's natural to feel joy. And it's natural 
to share the peace of compassion with fellow human beings. Human beings. Being human is full of compassion. Because compassion is humane. So, I say I'm a human being, but am I being human, showing compassion, which is humane being? Be it. You don't have to wave a flag. All you have to do is to offer the truth of yourself to another human being, possibly searching for a humane human being. We can do it. I've seen it. I've seen it in my elders when I was small. I've seen it in the face of an infant when it smiles, unconditional. Whatever or whoever it is that comes before the infant and does something from their heart, like smile or say baby words to it and smile, the baby will smile back. Is that humane? Is it compassion? Is it love? Is it honoring the birth? All of those are in the word compassion. Just as all of that is inside of us. Doesn't cost a cent. It's more valuable than money because it cannot be bankrupt. It cannot be foreclosed. It cannot be hidden. It only can be waiting for you and me to observe the light of the sun that compassionately shares its warmth with all life unconditionally. Sharing is a gift. I heard it somewhere said, or read it somewhere, a long time ago in my life, that it is better to share what is important to all than to keep what is only important to one.
help us to help us. <laughs> Greetings from inside the earth where its warmth keeps the gravity of compassion alive in the rhythm of our heartbeat. Welcome, welcome, all of you. Every nation, every culture, every color, every hue. Open your heart so you may hear more with your spirit, less with your ear. At an early age, the elders taught me all life is dependent on all life and the treatment of it reveals the depth of our respect and compassion for the all-inclusive environment. Plants, animals, rivers, and each other. Too many have forgotten. We all speak a common language. Pain, sorrow, joy, and the hope that we will not be treated with prejudice and discrimination. Whether we accept it or reject it, it can no longer be ignored. We are all related. the time. These things that I was given with compassion and love for my grandparents I found were the 
foundation of tolerance, for use of a better word. I don't particularly care for the word tolerance, but for use of a better word, I'll use tolerance. Uh, I don't want to be tolerated. To me, that's, uh, well, I'll tolerate that. I'll put up with that. I don't want anyone to put up with me. I would rather that they be honest with me as opposed to showing me a side of themselves that is forcing them to allow me to be in their presence or vice versa. I was very fortunate in having grandparents that practiced the traditions of their culture. My grandfather one day was with some of his older friends. I was still too young to go to school and I was sitting next to him on the stoop and he was talking with his older friends and one was saying, oh, I'm Mohawk. And the other one was saying, oh, well, I'm Apache. And the other one was saying, yeah, I'm Seneca. Another one said, yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm Micmac. And uh, my grandfather started chuckling. And they said, what are you laughing at? You know, my grandfather says, I'm laughing at the four of you. He said, you're walking around talking about, I'm this, and I'm that, and I'm this, and I'm that. He said, we're all the same people. We just live on different parts of the land. So that attitude has stuck with me because of them. And because of them, I find it more desirable to keep a peaceful spirit within me as opposed to an angry or bitter or mean or greedy a revengeful spirit. Not that I haven't known those spirits, because I have had a measuring stick. And on the side of them, and on the side of me at those particular times when I allowed that to be what controlled me, I find that the benefit was not in what I chose, but the benefit was in what was always there. And what was always there was, oh, great holy. Look at us. Look at our brokenness. Of all of the life and creation, we, the human family, are the only ones that stray from the good road. We are the ones who are divided. We are the ones that must come back together to walk in the sacred way that we may heal the earth and heal each other. To be able to relate that kind of spirit of peace around me helps me to remember where it came from. I'm not all that. It didn't come from me. You come up, want to pat me on the back? Well, <laughs> you can do it, but I'm going to let you know that this isn't me. This comes from a long line of me. My grandmother told me, you take credit for your mistakes. You don't take credit for what you do that's good because you're supposed to be doing that anyway. Okay, Grandma. I would like to have a big head and get a lot of pats on the back and walk around like this. But when I think about my grandpa and my grandma, they tell me a gold star don't mean nothing.
right heart. That's your gold star. So I work on trying to keep it right. Sometimes it... Sometimes it decides to skip a beat or two. But on the whole... It's got the rhythm of the planet. Thank you.